many countries, AIDS sufferers are shunned, as are those with tuberculosis. Many with HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, also have TB, a dangerous and easily transmitted disease. Dr. Helen Bygrave works at a clinic in Lesotho. Of all our TB patients, between 80 to 90 percent of them also have HIV. Others with HIV are shunned because the disease is viewed through the lens of morality and religion. Suskma Ratri, an AIDS activist, says AIDS does not recognize faith or morals. I was representing the, the, the group that was in, in my country was seen as the safe, safe group because I was loyal to my husband, I was not doing any risky business, no monkey business, I was living like a very straight life, but I'm HIV positive. Even in Islamic countries, the number of people with HIV is small but growing, according to a new United Nations report. The report says AIDS exists in the Middle East and North Africa, primarily among IV drug users, men who have sex with men, and prostitutes, people shunned by many societies. The Vienna Conference will focus on the rights of people with HIV and AIDS. Before leaving for the conference, Dr. Eric Goosby, the U.S. Global AIDS Coordinator, told VOA that attitudes about people who engage in high-risk behavior need to change so AIDS can be contained. These individuals are frequently not willing to reveal themselves to medical institutions and therefore come into care much later, uh, in much later stages of HIV usually when they start to present with opportunistic infection. AIDS experts say in addition to the stigma and discrimination, cultural norms are major obstacles to containing HIV AIDS. Performing artist and activist Annie Lennox spoke earlier this year when the UN launched a plan to address gender inequality and human rights violations that put women and girls at greater risk of HIV infection. Women of uh, reproductive age are actually at the forefront of, of risk in the HIV AIDS spread. They are the ones that need to be addressed. Although women and girls make up 50 percent of global infections, they account for nearly 60 percent of those living with HIV in sub-Saharan Africa. In southern Africa, young women are three times more vulnerable to HIV AIDS than men. Dr. Anthony Fauci says empowering women is crucial to slowing the spread of HIV AIDS. Women in many of these countries don't have the right to protect themselves against infection. Health officials also want illegal drug use decriminalized so IV drug users can obtain clean needles and medical attention. Experts say policies that punish high-risk behaviors fuel the spread of AIDS. 2010 is the deadline set by global leaders to achieve universal access to HIV prevention, treatment and care. These goals will not be met. But AIDS activists hope that with a focus on human rights, more people will receive treatment and with better access, the disease can become better contained. Carol Pearson, VOA News.